Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about various uh, cheating scenarios that I have come across, I've come across. And the most epic cheating scenario, I'm going to begin with that one, is the story of Pack Rat at the uh, Dragon Maze. I believe it was Dragon Maze where you had four Dragon Maze packs and you had a, a seeded, so seeded is very important in this scenario, seeded uh, uh, gate crash, um and the RTR, Return to Ravnica. So the reason that seeded is so interesting here is yes, you had an RTR pack, but it could not contain pack rat in it. Pack rat was not one of the cards you could get at the Dragon Maze pre-release. Yet the people I played, um, there was two people and they were friends, they both had pack rats. Now at the time I didn't look it up because I figured, oh, pack rats was probably gonna be in the RTR um, sealed and it was uh, the seeded pack and the problem here was there were so many different seeded packs because uh, each um, guild and there were 10 guilds had different kind of seeded packs and different type of rares that would be in them but here you have a clear example of someone who was cheating because they took the best card from RTR the best card in a block honestly for limited one of the most dominating cards in that format that was not in the pre-release. You could not get pack rat in the pre-release pools, but then I only realized that later when I was like, wait a second, you know, because I assumed that the seeded um, return to Ravnica pack could have it. So when you have people adding cards to their sealed pool, it happens a ton. Um, it could happen from them trading with each other. It could happen from them, you know, taking the cards from their binder. And this happens a lot at the on third pre-release when you have older packs. Everyone has the older packs. Like for instance, when we go into um, A for Revolt, the pre-release will have some packs of Kaladas in it. Uh, just like when we went to um, Eldric Moon, the pre-release had packs of Shadows over Innistrad. And what people would do is they would take their old Shadows over Innistrad cards and put them in. But this was a very unique case mainly because you could not have pack rat. Pack rat was not an option, yet so many people were playing it. And I was, you know, it wasn't just one individual who was pay playing pack rat, it was multiple people. And what they didn't understand was you could not get that card at that pre-release. And I didn't get that until later uh, when I went over the list because very, very tricky, very, very deceptive because there were so many guilds and you might be like, oh, well, I guess, you know, my guild probably didn't get one, but maybe your guild had one because there's a different seeded pack. Fascinating um, scenario where you can probably catch all the cheaters this way. So if Wizards of Coast did something similar again, you could literally catch all the cheaters, right? Because you would know that this card was not able to be in this pre-release. So that was probably my most uh, vivid memory uh, memory of you know some cheating that was not obvious but eventually just made people look extremely bad later and I know who those people are they know who they are I mean they win these pre-releases all the time but that was in one case where they got caught red-handed and yeah anyway bye guys